The progeny. Wait, what? Choose next investigation. A loose network of human scions. They're vi fuck yeah. An organization of alien scavengers. An underground religious movement for hybrids. They preach salvation, but only to those who once fought XCOM. What? Cool. An organization. Okay. They have quietly amassed a kind of weaponry reclamation. Okay, so I think we're just I, anything that says psionics. Scion. Scions mean psionics, right? Their vision for city of future is entirely psionic, whether the city wants it or not. I mean, let's. I love psionics. Let's get. I mean. Is this another Terraria bot? Indeed, Tantrum. Yeah, you still do miss. But yeah, it kind of is buddy cop. Yeah, but we're going to go in and interrogate them, dummy. You're in fun with it, Chris? That's good. I think it's pretty good, yeah. This is interesting. So what next? Focus on a single group. Investigate, dismantle their operations, and take them down. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, we look for any links to the mayor's death. Either way. One of the dads from Dream Day. Is off the oh, the that voice actor? The city wants justice for Mayor Nightingale. This is how we help them achieve it. Tracking investigations. Every investigation has three stages. Groundwork. From this first mission, learn about the faction and their methods. Operations. Hidden missions that must be revealed, then completed to knock out the faction's main plans. Okay. Take down, stop their final attack, and end their threat to City 31. Okay, okay. Okay, investigate the progeny. We need to know more about the progeny before we can... Yep, okay, that makes sense. Factional overview. Loose network of human science. Oh, we read this already. Two March. Investigation opened. Oh, that was like... Is that today? No, I'm dumb. It's April. Wait, is it April? March? What is it today? It's April, yeah. We don't need a leader. She looks pretty hot, though. And then... Oh, okay. This is the button. That was not obvious. Assembly! Let's click on that. Assembly projects are how you get access to new... Okay, yeah, this is, this is the workshop. Each project can unlock new items for XCOM supply. New weapons or armor upgrades, or a variety of other useful things. Agents assigned here decrease the time it takes to complete a project. Oh, okay, we do have more agents. Illyrium. Illyrium is one of the three resources Reclamation requires. It is spent to complete the projects in the assembly. And elsewhere, I'm sure. So we can get GATS. Oh, this is all. Android personnel. Construct the Android OPS hub. This network allows use us to use androids on tactical missions and enables new assembly projects it's one android tactical unit uh okay so we're assembling things why does it cost us money to go do a thing critical mission critical critical curse of the three worst resources reclamation requires they are spent in supply to both buy new items and upgrade existing ones oh the game this scared me i heard i heard uh a siren I thought it was in real life because my mic was picking it up. It's in the game. Wee! -woo. They're spent in supply to both buy. Oh, okay. Credits, yeah. Supply. Uh huh. All right. Difficulty easy. Whisper here. I'll keep you updated on activities requiring our attention. Speaking of which, an entire progeny front company just opened up. Open fire on 31 PD. Open fire! <laughs> I'm 31 PD. We should check that out, right? It's an ABC. Agent recruit pending. Oh, okay. I need to recruit an agent in the armory. Where? The armory. Mission. Oh, the mission reward is forty bucks. Oh, I thought we were spending forty bucks to go. That's weird. I'm dumb. Uh, the army is where you manage your agents. Load out. Oh, yeah. Wait, did we read this? New abilities. Earning enough XP, we get new abilities. Agent biography. Nice. Can I write my own biography? Tint armor. Oh, cool. Okay, all right. We can give him a tint. Put him in a tint, the man. This means we can bring more agents to City Thirty One. I can have a snake wipe you. The whole squad. Not yet, but it's something. I can have a snake waifu! I'm pretty sure I want a snake waifu. You'll love the tongue pool. What's this? Who's this guy? Roll. Moving enemies, allies, and poisoning them. So, support roll. Mobility? Oh, I thought... What? This... High damage, cover destruction. Surrender or don't. I'm fine with either, are you? Snake ladies are back, smiley face. Poggies. All right, aim. 75, 65. So, le less... Oh, dodge. Oh, do bro broken mechanic. Chance to have no damage. Fifth of a chance to have no damage. Torque is awesome. Blue blood. Axiom. Torque. Okay. They're all good to be honest. Yeah, I assume that they don't have to. I, I just want to have a snake lady. <gasps> Wait, I want to hear her. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I read World of Origin. I was like, Siberia, Nani? Prior to war, hatched. See? Bruh? Invasion transport ship. This dude's a legit alien, though. Zero years old. We can't have sex with this, this snake person. There's zero. This puts me in a confusing situation. I'm very highly sexually attracted to snakes. But you're not old enough to be... 
He's a mutton. That's what you're, you're right. Or a muton. Bro, that's trippy, man. I don't want to hire a guy who invaded Earth. He probably killed the Humies. Of course you can. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Wait, that's a good question. What year is it in game right now? Zero in Snake years. The 35th XCOM. 35th in XCOM 2. And pass that in here. 2035, you mean? Wait, why does it say zero years old here? I don't understand. Is it 2020 right now? It's definitely not 2020. The snake is... Why is it saying this? This is very confusing. Wait, yeah. Why is it saying zero years old? No shit. Hatched and then was zero years old. No kidding. Oh, okay. I see. It says it all the time. Okay, so she's at least 15. He's at least 15? It's at least 15? She was born in 2020. That makes sense. Yeah, why does it tell... It was... They were born zero years old. It's very confusing. Okay, so 2016 to 2034, it was, she participated in the... It, I don't know. I shouldn't say she, I guess. They all have tits, so she... Oh, fuck it. YOLO. Attached to Advent, uh, participated in the occupation, l learned to target and track down undesirable elements, hunted down resistance groups. So also killed humans, probably. Actually fought resistance forces in XCOM for the war's duration to present. And so the, to the, the actual legit war happened. Uh, offered to serve as opposing force. Yeah, I know that acronym. Thank you. Training for post-war XCOM soldiers in training base. Oh, look, in her own words, the tension is boring. In this way, I can still fight XCOM. <laughs> yeah, 2035 is events of XCOM 2. That makes sense. Uh, placed under the direct supervision of Colonel Kelly, with whom she formed an unexpected bond. Requested a transfer after Colonel Kelly's promotion, director of the XCOM Reclamation Agency. Oh, cool! If it takes a year for the egg to hatch, I guess she'll be born at one year old? I suppose so. We lost the war. We're friends now. I think that... So, this is a thing, sort of, like... Someone who is a professional soldier from a shoulder, 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 what? All right, one more time. People who are professional soldiers from a young age tend to lock themselves into that role, and they, tr they. So it doesn't matter. Like, they have an unexpected bond. <laughs> so they, they, they don't care who they fight for. They just have skills as a soldier, and they're going to continue doing that. So I, I buy this, frankly. You got in with a commander that you liked, and you follow them around. Just cause. All right, let's read this idiot. United States of America, USA, USA, USA. Prior invasion, only child of a teacher and third generation police officer. Dang, you were Poe. 2015 invasion. Fled initial attacks with his father. Eventually sent to a relocation camp at nine. Oof. He's got, these guys got PTSD. No, not the USA. <laughs> Do the smart way. The hard way gets you killed. Uh, relocated to City 31 with his family. Apprentice with his father's de private detective agency. Solving issues for an undeserved portion... Why undeserved? Underserved? Underserved. <laughs> uh, underserved portion of the city. Uh, gained a positive reputation and learned the, the basics of investigative work. Underserved. I was like, why is it underserved? Uh, no, wait, uh, undeserved, rather. It is underserved. Uh, 2035, War for Liberation. Smuggled hundreds of people out of City 31. Oh, nice. Who haven't had labeled as dissidents. Only some of whom were actual resistance members, 29 years old. To present, join 31 PD in his inception and in its inception and served with a distinction. Left 31 PD for the Reclamation Agency with blessing of former 31 PD Commissioner Markham, deceased. It's important. His investigative background is an asset to Chimera Squad. Okay, this one, Axiom. High damage, cover destruction. Oh, here it is, thing. Proud invasion, born and trained on an invasion, born on an invasion transport ship. This guy's a straight up mutton chop. We murder these, okay? Man, I'm, am I racist? Am I racist against aliens right now? I kind of feel like I am, dude. I've been killing aliens for a minute. I've been killing aliens for like five years, bruh. Actively participating in the invasion of Earth. I'm part of the first wave into Paris. 21. I'm xenophobe, yeah. Uh, 21 years old. Selected as a candidate for conversion into a mutton chop infused with human genetic material. Oh, dang. After retraining, served at various Advent city centers as high-value high security. Dang. Transferred to City 31 provided security at the Starport. And oh, he was at the Ascension Tower? Wait, no, he's during occupation. He might have still been at the Ascension Tower. He might have been on the bottom floor of the Ascension Tower. Uh, after Advent Surrender, he was instrumental in stopping a chrysalid outbreak in the Fringe. Oh, cool. He was 41 when he did that. That's nice. I wonder, wonder if he's got good eyesight still. To present, detention abridged due to his role in ending the Bugtown Massacre. He was detained. Okay, gotta get detained, huh? Join the Rainbow Agency at XCOM's request. His ability to lead, for example, is a boon to Chimera Squad. Lead by example, huh? And compared to Warhammer 40k, XCOM is alien friendly and generally not. That's, that's mostly true, yeah. I mean, yeah, Warhammer 40k, they're like, that's against religion. Are we good? I don't know. Did you get a lobotomy? <laughs> Fucking rest. I can't say that I did. 
Then no, we aren't good. We ain't good. Well, Whisper. Back to Whisper. Okay. I hear a dog working. Uh, loadout. We got Whisper, boys. Submachine gun. No additional. Okay. No. No. No additional items. Agent abilities. I don't think she doesn't like that guy, obviously. Unreasonably sexy. <laughs> I haven't looked at her yet, actually. Agents are an XP. Yeah, well, duh. Each new rank provides increased stats and some unlock. Yeah. At certain levels, you can have a choice between two abilities to decide which one you want. Sorry, I'm being snarky at the text. Okay, yeah. Lock it. It should tell me. 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 It should give me an idea. Bind. Tongue wraps. <sighs> Tongues are. Oh. <laughs> Dealing damage preventing them from acting on their turn. Battle enemies cannot be targeted by XCOM for risk of damaging torque. Free action. Oh, it's a free action is busted! Rat me, baby! <laughs> Rat me! Tongue pull. Torque shoots out her tongue to grab a unit and pull them into melee range. Can be used on enemies and allies. Some oversized targets cannot be pulled. Poison immunity. Torque is naturally. Where's Torque's boobies? Torque is naturally immune to the effects of poison. Torque can enter. Wait. Torque can naturally enter through vent. Oh, sweet, Torque. Oh, Torque, you. Mmm. Mm. Damn, Torque. She, she packing, she, what's she packing? Some machine gun? XM surplus is reclamation's gain. This weapon is similar, familiar to anyone who fought in the war, no matter what side. Oh, this is a magnet rifle. Okay. Three to five? This, it's a lowered. Hmm. The only, only guys who used some machine guns were, um, what are those dudes called? There's three factions Templar, the sneaker guys. <laughs> sneaker guys. <laughs> they ate aliens. And then the other dudes. What were they called? The red guys. And they could shoot twice and grapple hook and pull people. Stalkers? Yeah, the, the, the sneaky guys are stalkers. Have you ever seen snakes suckle? Why would they need boobs? I don't know why they have boobs in the game. I didn't make it the rule, Max. Look, don't body shame. I'm not. I'm body hyping over here, all right? Tongue is the second one. They can tongue pull me any day. Reapers? No. Wait, Re where? what? Reapers were the stealthy guys. Were stalkers? No, it wasn't stalkers, was it? That's a lame name. Maybe. I don't know. Stalkers are the only guys who use this gat. Tint armor. I feel like she got weird arms. Is that just me? Like this. Reaper skirmishers and Templar skirmishers. That's what it was. <laughs> why does she have a shirt on and no pants? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, why, why, why? I guess it's armor. I'm liking this. I don't think chat has slots. Okay, who is this? Who this? Stand up! Shotgun. Body armor. Four to six damage. All right, who's this chick? France. Prior invasion, national tactical police officer with a few years of experience. Oh, wow, she's old. At 23, dang, she old. Uh, went to ground after the fall of Paris. Spent a fruitless year searching for her family at 23. And then during the occupation, provided operational training to the nascent European resistance groups. Strongly advised against direct resistance, which he learned brought overwhelming reprisal raids. Connected with XCOM proper during its leaner years. Remained a friendly asset as the organization built itself. In 2032, she developed a formalized tactical training program to screen XCOM recruits. 2035, War for Liberation. Field liaison to allied resistance groups supporting XCOM. 43, why did you do Jack? To present, modified the XCOM recruit training program to suit the needs of the Reclamation Agency. Joined Chimera Squad provisionally to ensure field ready status. Guess we're kicking her out, huh? She's old. Let's put her in a red shirt. I hope she does. <laughs> Poor three style and damage. My bad, Zen. My bad. Scatter shot. Cost two ammo. Misses sometimes, apparently. Why oh, you look so sad? Oh no. Can you take that headset off? Where's the mic at? You just constantly have that one. If the mic is on the side here. Oh, hello, robot. Cadet terminal. Terminal. That is that gun is too big for you. Huh? 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 Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Yeah, that's that's I like that. Private invasion. One child, only child of a factory worker and a cook. Yeesh. Parents died in the in 2015 invasion. Parents died in initial invasion. Her uncle fled with her to a relocation camp at four. 2016 to 2034. After her uncle died of disease, she was effectively adopted by a doctor who lost her only daughter to the invasion. Oh, that's cool. Transferred with her adoptive mother to a small town in the outskirts. Began. Is her name, apparently. Began! <laughs> it's a began. <laughs> Apprenticing. No, wait. No, began's not the name. I'm dumb. Began. They began. <laughs> Apprenticing in her adoptive mother's <laughs> medical office. After a punitive event <laughs> attack wiped out her town. A resistance group pulled her from it's capitalized <laughs> pulled her from the bubble and brought her to safety. She exhibited a severe shift in personality. Oh, she got a brain damages. Commented for the, her resistance group in 2035. 
exhibited absolute fearlessness and saved hundreds of lives. To present, initially rejected for reclamation HD, but requested regular sonic probes to prove she's fit to serve. Assigned to Tamira squad after a probationary period. I don't know, I trust this lady. She got brain damage. We got two Arians here. Well, you don't count, sweetheart. What? What are you guys, a team? If I rub one nipple, one guy's nipple, will the other guy's nipple get hard? All right. You got it. <laughs> How does this do three to four? It should do two to three. Breaching charge. Okay. I wanted to this was up with this guy. Get a wig. He was born in Estonia? Prior to war, Sher belonged to the Empty Cohort, a batch of hybrid clones with full advent training, but no advent indoctrination. It emerged from his clone Kreshe. So he's a young one? So he didn't even he didn't even exist in the occupation? How old is this guy? He okay, we're, almost, we're getting that. Emerged from his clone Kreshe? Immediately befriended two XCOM soldiers. <laughs> okay. He's uh, 18 years old. Krish? He's Krish. Transferred to detention center. Exhaustive testing revealed no advent sympathies despite being part of the Bellismar clone line. Released from retention and, and recommended as a test case for XCOM utilizing skills of the empty cohort. Transferred to the reclamation agency after proving his ability, capability. Requested placement in Chimera squad at first opportunity. Reclamation HQ has observed his enthusiasm, improved the morale of his squad on multiple occasions. Lame. Sonic support for an infiltration unit of Thin Man! Thin Man's bad people, man. Real bad. Actively worked to subvert human governments. Experimented with delicate long term mental control of human subjects. At 15 years old. Do you don't like this? Assigned the long term control of an influential human who could keep the populace docile <gasps> while with comprehensible, reassuring answers to the questions about aliens. Is this the guy? Who is doing the, um, he's, he's the show guy. You know that we got him, we got him killed, uh, in XCOM 2 when we took over the broadcast tower and the mob, like, ripped into shreds? It was he this guy? Player as a candidate for conversion into sectoid infused with human genetic material. Post-conversion, yeah, the black asses guy. Uh, exhibited signs of empathy toward the human populace. Quietly began to tip off resist- Oh! During the occupation, he was giving tips out? He was doing intel? Mmm. Served as a mole actively aiding resistance groups in XCOM. You wore some shoes, bruh. At 35. Okay, all right, all right. He worked as a mole. To present. Spent time in detention camp until XCOM realized his role in the war. Oh. Oh, he didn't even... Okay, I see. So this is what happens with moles. Uh, agreed to reclamation agency transfer. Director Kelly approved his admission to Tremere Guard. I don't know. He's well. He's a he's a sectoid human. He was a sectoid at one point, but then he became a sectoid human hybrid, which is weird. You get blue. Oh, this guy's lame. I hope we get rid of him. Actually, we're not gonna bring him. I guess he has a shield. Probably should bring on this. He bashes people super hard. What this? Hmm. Okay. Do they not have noses? The thin man is useful. This guy? He's not a thin man though. He was a sec he was with, he was with a thin man crew. He was a sectoid and then was a human sectoid. He was just in a sub signing support for there. He can float people out of cover. Nice. Kills two. Cadet Verge. On the verge of cadetting on you. All right, who are we cutting, team? Got him, mother? She old. Kills five, though. Kills four. Kills three. Kills two. Kills one. Two zero. Who are we cutting? I think Shield Boy has to come. Sonic Boy also has to come. Ooh, healing them? Cleansing burning? Oh my god. They can hack too? She can shoot a gun good. Cut the old lady. Yeah, I think I'm cutting the old lady. How do I cut her? Crates. Our temporary field okay. office has all the basics. Weapons, comms, and ammunition. Supply is where we request everything else. As long as it's in the squad's budget, it's ours. XM supply is where you buy all your core items and equipment. Items you unlock from assembly products become permanently available here too. Nice, okay, cool. 43 isn't old! <laughs> yeah, you're saying 43 isn't old before. Oh, should have missed that, sorry. Auto key card. $50! Good lord. Oh, okay. So we get these permanent. Cease fire grenade. <laughs> Disables all firearms in a larger radius. The blast core of Mach 1 cooler heads contains a miniaturized codex that self. Oh. Flashbang! This one is hostile units in a larger radius. You're a larger radius! Apparently, <laughs> some squad members are unaffected. Oh, a frowler friendly is unaffected. Medikit. That is, that is, that's a weird looking medikit. Invest in Trank. The target will be killed. 
they'll be rendered unconscious instead. Conscious users captured in the mission. Recommendation gets more intel from yeah. Plus five to agent when it goes. Plus five? They used to be plus 20, bruh. All right. Investing. <laughs>